Okay, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna continue the throttle control box setup for my electric outboard motor. So, here's what I've done. This is the uh, old box that I made. It was, well, it was decent, but once I put everything together I realized it's not that good. So I printed a new one. This is a little bit better. This is a different material. That one is a PLA. This is a PETG which is also used in uh, those plastic plastic bottles that you got your beverage from. Uh, it was a lot more difficult to print this material than the uh, the PLA, but I I got them done, and I might do another one, a new one. There was a few kind of a design flaws that I made, but this is good for now. Also, I printed these two which will attach it to there. But today I'm gonna put this on, put the switches and everything there, and the uh, potentiometer, and then I'm gonna run the cables. This is the USB for the meter, and also the other one, I'm gonna cut this, and put it in this cable that I got here and then I have to run them down there under this and so that came they come up from here this is the uh, attachment thing for the pole that holds the wind generator so I'm gonna use the same hole over here with something. I'm gonna also take this off because it's, this is not that good. I'm gonna try to do it a little bit better. But I'm gonna, well, I'm not gonna attach the pole now because I'm gonna attach it once the boat is on water and also put the um, the wind generator on then. But and I'm gonna run it through here. I'm gonna make a hole to the pole <laughs> up there so the wires go inside of the hole up there and then go over there so I have to get under under the cockpit here to yeah run the wires and take that off so yeah that's the plan let's get started so I'm connecting now the potentiometer to the box the earlier version the blue version over here I connected through the lid of this potentiometer using these screws but I think it was just stupid because it was attached to this lid and it's better to make it so it attached to this whole thing and also shorten the, uh, the cable coming out of there so I can just put it in this in here. This piece over here, I printed yesterday evening. I just thought it would be nice to have kind of a kind of a feedback from the throttle handle to know when it's in the middle position. So it clicks like that. It's the middle. There's some play over there, so it's not perfect, but let's try it out. Then this should go easily, yep. Let's first put the um, USB cable. I could have used um, a thinner cable to run these seven seven wires but 
I couldn't find easily one that should be cheap also, so I bought this. This is for for a trailer for for a car to run the wires to. I think all the the um the lights and brake lights and the signals and that so it's pretty cheap so that's why I bought it. Sometimes I think it's better to have a uh, wires that are a little bit thicker than you need. But yeah, now I have to pick up those waterproof rubber things to here. So I got a full box of rubbery things. Yep, it's pretty tight over there. I managed to put it all together. Didn't find the uh, matching. Got three of these. I think golden ones. This one is different, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Let's put it on and also find the handle for this. Look at that. What I'm gonna do like this. Well, hey, look at that. Looks like it was made for it. I might do a shorter handle here because I think it's a bit too long maybe. Not sure. Yeah. There's the uh, attachment. Didn't put them that tight yet, but yeah. Okay, so I got most of the most of the wires done again. The first idea was to make this as clean as possible but <laughs> it's still a bit of a mess but yeah I might disconnect some wires and yeah put them a little bit better but it's a compact you know package <laughs> but it's hard to get to some of the wires over there but let's test it out. Now this panel over there, that's not connected, so there's not going to be any lights over there. Okay, the fans work. You see the fan over there. I made the connections for there, and also this one is here, is working, yes. But as you can see, there's a red light blinking over there on the controller, which means I think that this is not center. Well, it's still red. Where is it? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, I think the uh, I got the ra wires wrong with the controller. I think they are messed up. That's why it's blinking. Oh well. I had to do some more wiring. Okay, so another try. Let's see how it goes now. Put the cover on. But the fan is working. It's showing some 
Well, I have to calibrate that. Let's see here. Yeah, I got the green light over there. That means the controller is okay. So, hmm, let's go cruising forward. Not sure if you can hear. You can see over there. The prop is spinning. I need to go a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Faster. And now I have to reverse. No, no, I have to reverse. <laughs> it works, it works, oh yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm gonna wrap this up for today. I got most of the stuff done that I was supposed to do. Yeah, I still need to come up with a good idea, a smart way to put this against here. So that it's easy to take off if I need to do any stuff in there because it's easier to lay it down like that and then do the wiring and then put it up here so it's not on the way but this stuff over here and then put some kind of a cover or something so, it, so the wires are not everywhere but yeah thanks again for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't more of this kind of stuff coming up before the summer and also during the summer and yeah share if you like and yeah I have to um, have to mention the uh, the patreon page because last I checked I have only two patreons there uh, donating small amount of money for me and well, even though I'm not doing this for money, but I have to say I'm, I'm putting all of my money on this and uh, the other projects that I'm, I'm doing on, on YouTube. So, yeah, any amount of money will help me to continue doing this stuff. And I love doing this and I love to do more. So, yeah, I put the link somewhere below or on the screen so yeah see you again the next time bye bye